Hi there, I wanted to do a bit of a follow up on my last video. So I don't know actually how much detail I went into, but I basically have just had so many insights. I mean, you know, I've had a lot of insights on the journey anyway, but then coming into like a deeper physical connection um, where things start to get voiced and spoken about, um, it's really, really helped me to like understand a lot of things very very quickly like you know there's certain times in the journey when you have like these massive cosmic <laughs> shifts and then there's other times when you know it's a little bit more um like slow progress so yeah I've had so much going I'm not very good at like premiering things and um like <laughs> spacing them out I tend to just be like you know all oh, this has happened over there <laughs> uh, and then like quiet for a bit um and that's just who I am, I think. And it would be quite fake for me to do it any other way. So at the moment. Uh, so one of the things follows on from my last video, which I was talking about, um, you know, like fully claiming it. I don't know how much I went into detail with this, but it just really hit me this, like hit me this morning. That. So there was this conversation where I was like, what really upsets me is I feel like, you know, I'm given all these like extreme promises and I'm like, you know, like it feels like everything's just absolutely amazing. And then all of a sudden I'll just like feel you withdraw and start to question things. And that makes me feel really, really panicky that, you know, one minute I think everything's amazing and then because I'm really intuitive like I then feel um feel that like ruminating and questioning and it makes me you know internally react and um then he, <laughs> then he was like well you do the same like you also like question it all the time and the thing is, I do not voice that at all. So I am like the very stable, I want this. I definitely, you know, want the full commitment, um, not in an exclusive way, because um, that's always been a big boundary of mine, but like in a, in a way of like going deeper with the, with the commitment rather than like having these like doubts. Like I'm the one that looks really stable in that. And I look like I'm getting incredibly Hong Kong behavior in that way. Um, and they're like, oh my God, you're going to get married, have children, blah, blah, blah. To like, you know, very quickly. It's like, um, oh, I think I just need to be friends for a bit because I can't handle. Um, and this isn't just in this connection, it's been like a pattern of mine, this very, very extreme hot and cold behavior. But then when he said that, I really had to like think about myself and I thought, do you know what? Yeah, I do. Because as soon as I felt that energy pull back or I didn't get like communication a hundred percent of the time and feel like completely supported 100% of the time, I started to doubt and question and be like, oh, you know, I I don't know if I want to, like, this isn't good enough, this isn't good enough treatment, like, you know, I don't want somebody that's questioning me, maybe that means I should go and, like, meet somebody else and then I'll start speaking to somebody else and not, like, physically um like date other people but you know I'll start to be like more open and I know it's not right because I know it's not coming from the right place but it's like this <gasps> panic of like having too many like eggs in this one basket and thinking that they're not treating me right and you know it's I need to you know this isn't good enough and yeah and I I, I withdraw internally and it's like I go and I really want to block but on the outside I look very very stable like you know I just stay in my own space don't chase but internally I'm like oh my god I want to block 
<laughs> I want to block them. I need to be open to other people. Like, you know, they've withdrawn from me. I don't want this kind of behavior. Like, maybe this is just too difficult and I can't actually, like, go through with this. It's too painful. Um, maybe there's, like, easier. And these are all thoughts that go on in my head. And then I'm projecting them and it's like they just show me that inner projection. So I think it's just really, really important to be aware that your thoughts are creating and if you're having these thoughts that it's too difficult, that you don't know if you can handle it, that you're like wanting to run away from like facing yourself and dealing with yourself and you haven't really claimed it. Like, I mean, even when, so, you know, when we reconnected and it was like super official, I still couldn't claim it. It was like this massive block. I just, you know, couldn't say oh yeah, my boyfriend, without like it really feeling wrong. And I think that's just due to like a lot of, um, you know, my own creations in the past that have made it really like difficult for me to believe in it. So I, you know, would feel really awkward when I'd say it or I'd like, you know, say it in other ways. And, you know, I could have just come out and said it. There was no reason why I couldn't. And there was obviously some kind of resistance and block in me to like fully claiming it as a relationship, like a physical relationship. Um, so, and then when that gets shown to me in the external world, then I react and project and blame. And I just think this is like a really, really important thing to do. Um, is to really be honest with yourself about like everything that you're projecting inside onto this person who's then doing it back to you physically. And I think a lot of the time we think because we're physically showing up that we're not running, but it's all in, like it's all inside. So if you wanna change your pattern and like have a different physicality, then you have to change the inside. Like I could have totally claimed that from day one rather than end up with like, you know, some kind of, like I'm committed, but then like I can't deal with it and like hot and cold stuff. It's all, it's all inside of you. Like you can only experience in your external what's inside, but it's really freaking tough to take ownership of that stuff. Like, you know, there's a reason why people love, all of us love at the beginning to be sort of pacified and, and externalized and watch lots of readings about when the masculine is going to come back and um, what it takes to win this person over and how you should behave. Like the ones about really doing the internal work are not really that popular. And I understand why, because on like a subconscious level, it's just really, really difficult not to project blame onto the projection. Um, but it's just, really is like when the journey starts to change, but it's still really difficult, um, really intense at times, but then you start to see things like happen and, um, you know, you start to understand more and more that it is your creation. I mean, actually, so when I created um, like the reunion in this relationship, and I know I created it, um, it happened because it was, within an hour, what was it, within 24 hours of me stopping splitting my energy, because basically I got really angry the first time around, and even though I did get, like, a few attempts to, to meet up, to reconnect, I, like, it just wasn't enough for me, I don't know, I was just so angry, like, I couldn't stop thinking about this person, but I just really wanted to, like, get rid of them, so I had this like really weird energy for a long time of like, I can't stop thinking about them, but I'm super angry and I actually don't want them. So I'd get this kind of like, <laughs> and as soon, like, and I was doing like, you know, I was on and off manifesting and all this kind of stuff, but, you know, it would give me little results. Um, but then I'd be like, no, but I don't want it. <laughs> and then as soon as my inner energy it was just, it, it was like this moment where I'd done enough mirror work and I'd really dealt with it as my own 
creation um why things had broken down the first time around and um I was in a really pure energy like I dropped the anger and the blame and I just like had this visualization of just like us being together it was really pure it didn't carry that like subcurrent of but I'm angry at you and you need to like apologize and beg for me and blah 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 blah. as soon as I like kind of dropped that within 24 hours well within an hour of that visualization I had contact within two days I was living the visualization like things can happen just so quickly but it's clearing the path within ourselves that's like takes the time and that took me like a few months to do to like actually clear that split energy of like having the anger and the projection and the blame and it gets quicker (laughs) and the more you see the results come from it like the quicker you can get into the energy because as painful and as horrific as it is you know like how amazing you feel when you integrate that and so you just want to get back into that state like (laughs) ASAP and it actually becomes less about the person and more just like I want to rise for myself you know Uh, so yeah I hope that helped a little bit in the like I actually managed to keep my sort of like running chasing down like incredibly short (laughs) and that was probably only because I'd done so much work with like other connections that have been like extremely painful Um, But yeah, I hope that helped and uh, I've got loads more videos I'm going to do. So, all right, bye.